Hello friends, welcome to Doubt Forum. In this question, an inductor of inductance L, a capacitor of capacitance C and a resistor of resistance R are connected in series to an AC source of voltage V. The voltage across the inductor is given as 40 volt. So we can represent this 40 volt as VL. The voltage across the capacitor is given as 10 volt. So this 10 volt would be VC and the voltage across the resistor is given as 40 volt. So this 40 volt is VR. Apart from this, the amplitude of the current flowing in this LCR circuit is given as 10 root 2 ampere. So this is the amplitude of the current flowing. The other name of the amplitude is the maximum value of current that is flowing in this circuit. So that maximum value is given as 10 root 2 ampere. So from this maximum value of current, we can easily find out the RMS value of current flowing in this circuit. The formula for RMS current that is I RMS is given as I max divided by root 2. If we just place the value of I max as 10 root 2 in this formula, we will easily get the value of RMS current flowing in this circuit and that value would be of 10 ampere. So this 10 ampere is the RMS current flowing in this circuit. In the question we are asked to find the impedance of this circuit and the formula of impedance of any RLC circuit is impedance that is represented by letter Z would be equal to V upon I RMS. As we can see that in this formula the I RMS is known to us. All we need to find out is the voltage and this V is the voltage across this circuit. The voltage V in any RLC circuit is given by under root of VR square plus VL minus VC whole square. This is the formula of resultant voltage across any RLC circuit. Here we have taken VL minus VC because the value of VL is greater than VC. If the value of VC is greater than VL, so in this formula we, we will be placing VC minus VL. So now all we need to do is to simply put the value of VR, VL and VC which is given in the question. So this VR is 40 volt. So here we will be writing a square of 40 plus the value of VL is also 40 volt. So this would be 40 minus the value of VC is 10 volt. This would be minus 10 volt square. Now if we just simplify this equation, this would become 1600 plus 900 and the value would come out to be 50 volt. So this voltage source is of 50 volt magnitude, which is able to supply a 10 ampere RMS current in this circuit. Now all we need to do is to put the value of V and I RMS and this way we can easily find out the value of impedance. The value of voltage is 50 and the value of RMS current is 10 ampere. This way the impedance value come out to be 5 and the unit of impedance is ohm. So our 5 ohm would be the answer. So thank you for watching. If you still have any doubt, please let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Doubt Forum. See you in the next video. Till then take care. Bye bye.